All right, dudes, I'm pumped to go here. We're about to face the 50th trainer of the 100 trainers total. And just by beating this guy, I'm going to be able to get a silver trophy to put inside my secret base that I don't have. So, right, Snorlax Salamence, confirm. This is like um, my contribution to Pokemon, basically. I made a signature uh, for Pokemon team that is... You know, my most relied upon team that I've ever had in my history as a Pokemon trainer, period. So, alright, I'm going up against a triathlete, so this is kind of a middle tier trainer. Let's see what we got. Ha! Huh! Wow, okay. I was expecting better, I guess. Alright, so let's use Meteor Mash against Dodrio, because he actually does have kind of a devastating attack power. And let's kill this Golduck before he uses, like, a... An ice beam against my Zapdos. Okay, one hit, the Golduck goes down. And Metagross missed. Not good. Alright, um. Let's see, I'll have him use Protect just to have the enemy waste to move, and hopefully I'll be able to kill off this Charizard before he's able to deal any major damage. Okay. Very good, yes. All right, so down he goes, and oh, 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 boy, a Salamence. Those uh, those guys are tough, so uh, I would know I own one. <laughs> Let's see, if Zapdos takes another hit, then he is going to go down, so how about this? Um, I'll withdraw. Let's summon my Salamence, because I don't think he's going to use a Dragon-type move against my Metagross. And let's Thunderbolt kill off this Dodrio. Because he's going to try to kill off my Zapdos, and he's just not going to be able to. But the Salamence might be able to. Haha, -ha, you thought you froze me solid, huh? Uh-uh. Okay, so he did manage to kill my Zapdos with the Dragon Claw. Now, because he's got Dragon Claw there, uh, my Salamence is probably going to just die in one hit. So, um, I'm going to have Abdul use Self-Destruct, and hopefully they won't both go for him instead. Yep, they took the bait. Alright, excellent. So Salamence is the first um, excellent top tier Pokemon that I've faced thus far. Oh, you! <laughs> so I just beat 50 trainers. Da 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 da! Ah, it was off key. But I beat 50 trainers, and now I'm uh, officially halfway past uh, my goal. Past the halfway point and still going strong. Still have all those continues left. All three of them. So, uh, let's see. Better put up a light screen. I can't get cocky now because any time I could face some legendary Pokemon. I mean, it's happened. Boy, this Lumberry has saved my butt so many times. Huh. I didn't think Tentacruel would live through that. Interesting. Alright, let's use another Earthquake, and we'll protect this time. If I want, I could have probably just killed off that Waylord in one hit, but... Sometimes, you know, there have been some times in this tournament that the enemy Pokemon have earnestly surprised me. Shell Bell, alright. It's good Zapdos protecting himself. Let's see, I'll use another Fisher. I mean, uh, Earthquake. I'm afraid they're going to use, like, Corn Drill or something. And let's take care of the- AHA! He did use Horn Drill! You cheap little pansy! Alright, so let's bring out Salamence here, and let's kill off that Waylord before he uses, like, Sheer Cold or something. I don't like it when you do that. There's some Pokemon in this tournament, they live through stuff that they're not supposed to live through, and they, uh, turn around- How did you move- Did you see that? He moved before my Zapdos. He better have had a Quick Claw as his item. Because, you know, that shouldn't have been possible under normal circumstances. I've been amazed at the Pokemon that have moved before mine. You make me go, ah ha 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 Yeah, we'll see who's going, ah ha 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 at the end, and it won't be me because I don't have a stupid laugh like that. Alright, uh, they're coming at me with physical attackers. Hmm, alright, uh... Let's, let's try an Earthquake first, and we'll have Zapdos use Protect because... I get the feeling that they're afraid of Zapdos taking down for Alligator, and they're going to use Tauros' speed to get at Zapdos first. 
I'm predicting. Oh no, they're dumb. All right. Ha! <laughs> oh, well, the Feraligator used Ice Beam, but that's okay. Wow, dumbest Tauros ever. I can't believe you did that. All right, uh, Thunderbolt for Alligator. Yeah, don't use Double Edge on my Metagross. It's not going to work. All right, well, that Blissey went headlong into uh, Metagross's Earthquake here. So uh, she'll live through that, but just only just. Oh, nice. Critical hit. Well, that Blissey's got a higher defense than I gave it credit for, but all the same. See, Zapdos isn't going to be very useful. Let's put up a light screen. Yeah, get rid of the Blissey. Blissey is an amazingly tough Pokemon if you know how to use it properly. Alright, uh... We'll try Psychic Attack, because they just use Mirror Coat, and... Oh, actually, no. <clears throat> Let's use another Earthquake, and we'll use Drill Pick. And... Because that way, I'm using two physical moves, and... If I was to use a special move and a physical move, then if they use Mirror Coat or uh, Counter, then they'd at least get one of us. La 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 ha. Uh, so, who's saying ah ha ha ha? Huh? Okay. Battle number four. This has got to be the last battle. I don't play down, all right? What? Okay, this guy might be a veteran. He's a veteran. All right, I got to be careful. See that? First legendary Pokemon of the tournament. Uh, Regice. Now, this is why I've got uh, Metagross as Zapdos' partner. Because Metagross can take care of those annoying ice types that put Zapdos' life in jeopardy. So let's protect. Uh-oh, they're, they're increasing their stats. This is not good. I gotta, I gotta take down that Espeon now before uh, he becomes really annoying. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am in trouble. Latios is one of the best Pokemon you could possibly get legally into the battle tower here. And it might be faster than my Zapdos. I don't know. Okay, good. Zapdos is faster. Light Screen gives me a little bit of an edge for a while. But you see that? Even with Light Screen, um, I still lost half my health. So, let's see. I better use Earthquake here. And we'll have Zapdos use Protect because more than likely they're going to try to kill Zapdos now that he's down to half health. Yep, Psychic. And Ice Beam. See, you gotta be able to predict. If, you, if you're if you a trainer and you can't predict the enemy's moves, like, just because they're a certain type doesn't mean they're gonna, gonna be using moves of that type. So, you gotta watch it. Alright, he's gonna use Ice Beam again, most likely. So, I'm gonna shift to Snorlax here. And I am gonna get hit by my own Earthquake, but that's okay. Um, because... I've got the enemy down to one Pokemon left now, and even though it's Latios, uh, we still should be able to take care of it relatively quickly. Right, I'm going to use Protect because I think this Latios is going to try to finish off Snorlax. Actually, hmm. Just in case it tries to take down Metagross, like, either it's going to get hit by a Body Slam or it's going to get hit by an, uh, a Meteor Mash, one of the two. Aha! Good! I'm glad I didn't use uh, Protect there, you see that? Gotta be reckless with Latios. It's one of the best you can uh, possibly come into the battle tower with. Well, well, I surrender. <sighs> okay, that was a heavy battle. A Regice and a Latios, both in one battle. You know, the game allows you to get past your 50th trainer, but they don't allow you to get so far that you get ribbons, unless you have a seriously hardcore badass team. So... Uh, when I come back, we'll be facing this fifth trainer and getting through these next three trainers. And I really hope that I don't lose in these matches. I don't want to have to restart this round because, you know, I'm I'm really proud of this round. I want to... Because if I really were playing fairly and legitimately, if I were to win this round without any losses, then I'd get ribbons. But if I were to lose this round, I'd have to go all the way back to the first trainer without ribbons. And, you know, I'd like to think that I got this far without even using any continues that I'm artificially giving myself. But uh, anyway, in the, next, uh, in the next segment, hopefully we'll be finishing off this round. This is round eight right now that I'm in of seven trainers. And um, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. This is my uh, Battle Tower Run 100 Trainers Challenge.